Hi friends, let me get this started. Okay, welcome to Tuesday's Toolbox training here on um, for squad goals. Um, we will be recording this and it will be uploaded onto my YouTube in case you need a replay. Tonight we are gonna go through how to make labels using Canva and Avery. Now, I, when I first started, you guys, I hated this part because I didn't know how to do it and nobody taught me, even though I could have taught myself, but I, it took me a long time to really start dipping my toes in it. It's not hard, but it is like, okay, let me sit myself down and take a minute to teach myself, right? So um, Tuesdays are for our basic toolbox training for... Um, just to, to make sure that we know the basics of this business and how to use the basic foundational tools of our business. Um, and that's, this is part of it, making labels. That's one of the first things we do or want to do, right? When we, when we join, when we jump in, we're like, oh God, I don't want to write my name on all this stuff. I need to make labels. So the best way that I love and it works for me is I, I make it starting in Canva. Now you don't have to start in Canva. You could jump to Avery only and I'll show you right now. But we're going to start in Canva because this is where we're able to get creative. This is where we are able to make our labels super beautiful and, and, and personalized. So let's go ahead and share the screen. We are going to start in Canva. Do you guys all have Canva? Give me a thumbs up. Let me open my chat box on this side because I want to be able to see if you guys are asking questions. There we go. Okay. If you guys have any questions, Miguel has Canva. <coughs> Hi, Christina. Um, please put them in the chat. Like I said earlier before, a few of you guys jumped on. This is for you. So I want to make sure you understand. Don't, don't hesitate to ask questions. Okay, if you don't have Canva, Canva is a free service unless you opt in for all the bells and whistles, which you do not need. I have it just because I don't like to be limited. <laughs> and it's only $14 a month. It's not bad, but you don't need it. Okay, you don't need to pay for the, the paid subscription part. You can get it for free. Okay, so have any of you guys ever used Canva to make labels? You haven't that's okay one fast easy way is go into the search bar and you type labels oops if i do it that would be great okay so then it's going to bring up all the labels in the canva world and i like these because you can use the templates they set up right if you have circles if you have the 5160s which i'll explain um they have all of these to choose from that are already laid out if you want to use those templates. Now, for the most part for mine, I'm pretty simple. Um, let me show you mine, hold on one second. For my labels, you guys, they're literally my logo, my QR code and some text, right? And then I put them on everything, like literally everything that goes out needs to have our labels on it, right? Hold on, let me let this person in. Okay, so make sure that you have, I'm gonna show you guys these too. You can make, you can put labels on bags to make them personalized. You don't have to order all these expensive bags, right? You can put a label and I'm gonna explain all of this. Um, you can do some stuff like this and we'll talk about it. But I wanted to show you just so you know what I'm talking about. Right, Miguel, it's super easy. So let me share my screen again. <laughs> okay, so you can use these, but I'm going to show you the way I do it first. I always go to create a blank label. Maybe you want all this cute stuff on there. I don't because it's just, let's, let's be real. <laughs> Ink is expensive. I don't do all the background because that is a lot of ink. Ink is expensive. I, I mean, I, if there's ways I can save, I'm going to save by not using 103,000 pounds of ink on my labels. Okay, that's a whole lot of ink right here. You, it, you wanna be minimal, especially just starting out. You don't wanna spend too much. Something simple like that, cutesy, whatever. But here's how I do mine. Okay, so I hit create blank label. Okay, so it gives me this, this square label. And you might think, well, I want a circle or I want whatever. Calm your horses, we're gonna get there. <laughs> we're gonna design first, okay? So 
If you've used um, Canva before, you know that you can upload whatever images you want. So for me, I owe, oh, my, my um, monthly box is New Kids on the Block. So that's why this is all here. I made it like a theme box. Um, but let me find my logo. <coughs> oh, I'll use this girl right here. Okay, so I want to put her on my label, right? I have ones with no background and stuff like that, but right now I don't want to look for it. It's too much work. Okay, so I'm going to shrink her to whatever size I want her. If you want your person to be the dominant part on your label, you can make her bigger, you can make her, him or her smaller, okay? Now, what else do we want to add? We want to always add something for them to scan easy peasy, right? Because what does mine says? It says it's say it says time to reorder question mark text or call me. It has the QR code and then it has the 310-346-5195 phone number. Okay. I want them to scan the code. How do you add a, a QR code to your label? You come here on the left hand side under QR code. Okay, and it's going to give you this blank box. Now you can go to your website. I typed it in already. Riannafranco.sensi.com or I mean .us, right? You're going to Click it till it brings up the HTTPS, the hyperlink, right? And then you're going to highlight that. Um, right click, copy. Okay. Then you are going to go back to your Canva, to your Canva, and you're going to paste it. Okay. And then generate your code. It's gonna automatically pop up here. Where do you want it on your label? Do you want it in the middle? Do you want it on the side? I suggest it's right, like right next to your logo. That way it's you know right together. Okay. So let's do, we'll put QR code here. Now we have to say something on our label, right? So we're gonna add some text. <coughs> we, there, there's these cutesy ones that you could choose from. All these cute designy ones, but remember ink adds up. So you want to pick maybe something simple like this or one that's already set out like this. Okay. I see a chat. I didn't know that. Well, I love making labels. Didn't know that I have my own cute. Yes, Miguel, super easy. You can put it if um say this was a counter cleaner. Let me show you, for instance. Can you guys see my picture still? Can you see my or is it just my screen? You can see me with holding up what I'm holding up. Okay, cool. So say I wanna, I wanna put a label for um, these washer whiffs. That QR code could be sent, like if I, if I put it right here, it could take them directly to my washer whiffs. Okay, so if I wanna do that, then I, I'll, I'll show you how I'm gonna get there. Okay, let's add some, some text now. Let's use a cute one. Whoever just came in, if you could mute yourself, that would be amazing because that, or else I have to go back out. Okay, so I'm gonna use this text. You shrink it to whatever size you want, okay? And then you could highlight whatever you want to change. So um, I'll put need a refill, question mark. Oh, I don't wanna hit enter. The good thing about Canva, you guys, is if you mess up, you just hit this back button right here and all goes away. You don't have to pull your hair out and wonder how to fix it. Okay, need a refill, call, or just put text, whatever. Text me. Okay, and then 310-346-5195. Um, scan QR code above or whatever. You get the point. I'm trying to or right okay so we can put above we'll just put it right there okay so you can move everything around how you want it okay so say this is the label that i want to make simple easy whatever okay so now i'm going to go to share right here okay let me move my box i'm going to hit download i want this to save to my desktop um, it's saying PDF print, whenever there's a lot of color, you guys, it's going to tell you to save it as PDF print. So it's not the pixelations are not blurry. You do not have to do that. I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to print it. I'm going to do just uh, JPEG. It's best for sharing, sharing across social media. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hit download. It's going to save onto my desktop. Okay. Now I'm going to go to avery.com. Okay, 
me go to my front page so you can see it. Okay, this is what it's gonna look like when you first sign on, okay? Tell me to slow down guys if I'm going too fast. <clears throat> so we're, these are my projects. This is what it's gonna look like. Create an account, it's free. The only time it charges you if you print through Avery. You can print through Avery, it's great. They're, they're affordable, but I print at home. Hence why I don't use a lot of ink. Okay, so right now we're gonna start a new label. Okay, so we're gonna go to templates. Okay, and now here's the thing. Here's where a lot of us get confused. Find a template. How do we know what template to use? Well, it says on the front, okay? So here's an Avery label, the round ones. It says Avery, this is the model, 8293. So you would type in 8293, voila. Okay, you can buy them from here, which I don't because they're expensive. You can buy them through Amazon, they're cheaper or Staples. If you guys don't have their rewards program at Staples, you really should get it because they give you money back. And I, I swear, I get my labels for almost free every single time. Turn in your ink, recycle your ink, you get money back for that too. Okay, <clears throat> so you can buy the labels if you want, which we're not going to do, or you can use the template, it's already set up. So you would just click that, we're gonna use round. Let's just say we wanna use round, okay. Here we go. Now we're going to start designing. We don't want them to print for us. If you do, you could hit this and then you just design and send it and they print it for you. But we're going to start designing our own. Well, what do you mean, Re? We already designed. Exactly. Follow, follow along. Okay, so again, this is what I'm talking about when I said you don't have to use Canva. You could come here and use whatever templates you want. However, to be honest, <coughs> They're very particular about the, the space usage and how to maneuver the text. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. Like, I don't like to use these, but you totally can, okay? Buy these labels at Amazon or Staples, whatever. Come here and, and use one of these and put your info. I'll show you, but let me show you this first. So we're gonna make, we're gonna use a design that we just created. Select this design. Okay, now it's gonna give you this blank circle. Okay, great. Now what? We're on customize. Okay, we're gonna customize our label. You're gonna go to image, okay? We're gonna go to add image, browse your file, and we just saved onto our desktop, right? So need a refill, open. <clears throat> it's gonna upload it here. It's gonna give you the image and you're gonna stretch it to how big you want it. Now look, this is what I mean by the, the, the limitations they give you. Don't worry about the red as long as your, your print is not outside of it, okay? So this one is a little tiny, but you would just stretch it to where it fits inside the box. Do you see? Like if you, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, but you want your, your text to fit in this first circle. Now, it goes a little bit further. You're gonna have some white spot, but the chances are that it might, cut off and you don't want that. You want your image to be clear. You want your text to be clear. You want your QR code to be clear, whatever, okay? Yes, you can also use, use it as a background. <clears throat> Let me show you. Well, it doesn't let you, um, it sets it at the dimension that you save it. That's the only problem. What Christina was saying, you can use it as a background and then you could add images to it and you could adjust and do stuff like that. But let me go back. Okay, so we're going to do this as the regular label. We have white, white, because we're not trying to spend $500 on printing. Okay, so now the next step you would see, oh, let me show you this. Okay, so look, edit all. That means the entire sheet, the entire sheet of labels are going to be this girl, right? If I wanted to edit one at a time, maybe I want to do um, different products. Maybe I'm going to do a counter clean on one. I'm going to do a pet one on one. I'm going to do a Sensi soap on another. This is how you would do that, okay? You can edit each one by itself and put different images on it or whatever you want to use, okay? This would be good for um, Bring Back My Bar. This would be good for the new fall collection coming out. So you guys, get, you, get, you get to my trip. Gap, catch my drift, right? Okay, so now we're gonna hit preview and print. So it's warning you that some of your images is outside of the circle. That's fine as long as your print is in that inner circle, 
Okay, so you're going to hit continue anyway. Now it's going to show you what it looks like. And I don't know why it's so freaking small right now. Hold on. There's usually a thing where I could zoom. Where is it at? Oh, here it is. Zoom. Okay, so I want to do, I want to see bigger. So you can change how big, so you can see what it's going to look like. Okay, so all of my labels are going to look like this which is fine. I'm not gonna print it right now, I already have mine. Mine are like super simple, basic. These are mine. That's literally my girl on my sticker. Okay, so then once you're done, you hit print it yourself, okay? Or let us print for you. If you want them to print it for you, you would hit this and then it would take you through different options it has to print, different sizes, different paper type, blah, blah, blah. But we're gonna print it ourselves. So we're gonna hit print ourselves. Okay, then it's going to take you to print options. You want to get the PDF to print. This is where we want PDF. So the colors are not pixelated and blurred. Okay, so we want to hit get PDF to print. Strongly recommend that you save. Okay, great. You can name it, whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now it's going to bring up the sheet. It says, okay, it's been saved. Now it's going to um, give you this and it says open PDF. That's what we want to do going to show you what it's going to look like when it's printed. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like inside those circles. I'm not going to print it because I don't want to waste <laughs> ink, but that's what it would look like. Okay, on your, these are 8293 set, uh, circles. <clears throat> let me, let me um, stop sharing my screen real quick. Let me show you a few different labels before we move on and how I use them. So these are the typical 5160, okay? Um, I try to buy these in bulk because they're expensive when they're in a smaller amount. I don't know why, but they are. These are good for addressing address labels and stuff like that or back of the catalog. If you don't have a stamp, I'll show you my stamp right now just so you can see. But I have on every single envelope that I'm sending out and I send these on my customer mailers every single week, I have these already labeled and ready to go. I have a stack of them already ready to go, okay? And I do that on Monday. Every week I'll, I'll um, sticker 30 of them because my goal is to get 30 happy mails out that week, okay? Then I put the little sticker and on the back, I use the um, 8163 label. If you guys are taking notes, this is an 8163. And on here, it says, I know it says, stick your nose in my biz. I know you smell that. I know you're curious what's inside here. Scan the QR code to see what this smell good stuff is. Contact me for a digital flip catalog. It has my name and phone number, then it has a QR code. Why? Because when I drop this off at the post office, this sucker is being grabbed by a post person, right? That smell is going to be like, what the heck is that? There's, oh, scan this you'll see what it is then somebody out the mailman that's carrying it is going to get this and he's going to be like what is this oh scan it you'll see what it is then it goes to the next post office where the same thing happens till it's delivered so it's coming in contact with at least three to four different people before it gets to my person right so i'm sticking some scent stickers of course i'm going to have I'm going to spray this baby with some type of scent before I put it in there, right? And then my, my Happy Meal, I'm going to spray with some type of room spray. So this sucker is lighting up their world as soon as it hits the post office, okay? That's a whole nother training, but that's why I use this label, the 80, um, 8163, okay? And you can make that same thing. You type in Avery 8163 and put your image um, in there from Canva. That way it's already made, okay? I also use them on these bags. These bags I get from Amazon. I don't want to order custom bags because it's too much money. I don't want to do that. So I stick my sticker on. And when I put my product in here, I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put a bow and some tissue paper. And voila, it's a custom bag. And it says, thank you. Thanks for your order. Don't forget to tag me. I appreciate you. And with each order, I do a little happy dance. And then it has my Instagram to tag. And then it says to reorder. And it has my QR code. This QR code is going everywhere. Okay. It should be on all of your labels. A QR code should be to whatever you're talking about should be on every single label. Okay. All right. So then we have the, the regular circle stickers on all the product. Um, this is the 8163. This is the one I just showed you that goes on there and on the envelope. 
You can buy them through Amazon. You could buy them through Staples. And what I like to do is I use the 8163 when I'm sampling um, the bigger products with the, the um, foil zip bags. Um, I, I print this out. I like this because it has the ingredients. Anytime you are using something or sampling something that's going on somebody's body, you should include the ingredients. That way it covers your butt in case they're allergic to anything. Okay, so I like to use this because it's big enough for them to read. And then you can even add the QR code on here. Okay. I also use the 8163 for the ditcher tree. I, I slap these on my scent circles before I hand them out. You can do them smaller, you don't have to do them that big. This is what I was talking about earlier. So here is the um, 50, 5293 circles. Look, I added my QR code. When you wanna add different products, remember how I showed you bubble by bu bubble, you just hit edit one, edit one. Sample the, the spray, here's a QR code. Okay, you can also, if you're doing bulk sampling, get the 5160 and here's a template that I used that was already on, on Kat, um, Avery. I just added the name of the fragrance, printed it all out. I'm gonna sample all these Lunas. Stick this on the baggie. I'm not worried about anything else, okay? Here's another way to use the 5160s. You wanna buy the ice pine? Here's the QR code, here's the scent description, okay? I use my circles for I love referral stickers that I slap on every single order. This is with the 50, the 8293s created using um, Canva. I also have, you're not going to be able to see these. Let me flip the lid off. The whole sheet of these. I use these for QR codes. I slap these babies everywhere, literally everywhere. If I'm putting a catalog out, where's the one? On? Okay, so for example, for the Harvest catalog, I am going to print the QR code that's going to lead them directly to the collection. I'm going to put it on the front of this Harvest catalog. Okay, and I'm going to say on there, it's going to say scan me or whatever. I'm getting these ready today, actually. That's why I have them right here. So I'm going to put the QR code so it's going to take them directly to the collection section on my PWS. Doesn't need to be all crazy and all kinds of information. Just scan me, scan me. You could pre-order me, you could do whatever. I, I might do a pre-order, scan me to pre-order because I have that through Yumi Who. And if you watch my Yumi Who training, super easy to do. Okay, and these ones are, <coughs> these are actually a different template and it's through um, hotcolorproducts.com. That's where that template is for this one. And you can buy them through Amazon. They're like five bucks and they give you like five million of them. I've been using them for like two years. I'm like, okay, when are they running out already? Um, so if you're interested in this template to where you just do QR code and slap it on stuff, you can get it through hotcolorproducts.com and they're one inch square labels, okay? There's also these clear ones, which I like to put on when the boxes are really pretty and I don't want to mess it up you could print on it and it prints clear so this one says snap and share I'm trying to show you guys so it could be okay and you just you don't want to put these on stuff that has um um too much color because it won't show uh, hotcolorproducts.com miguel hotcolorproducts.com one inch square labels okay so these are um avery number two two eight to five for clear. These are really pretty on fragrance flowers. These are really pretty on, um, on your uh, boxes for your information for the, the warmers and stuff. They're really pretty there. And then I already showed you those, the 8293. Okay. I mentioned earlier, um, <coughs> that I use label, I mean, uh, stamps as well. You could totally use stamps, you guys. They're just a little bit more pricier up front. For example, I got this one and it shows, oh, I guess I can just keep it right. Okay, I'm gonna stamp them, please excuse me. 
And these last forever, you guys, it's worth the money. But if you don't have it right now, you're not gonna just wait, right? Okay, so I got this through Vista Print. Okay, you can use that for these type of, of samples. I mean, uh, harvest brochures, brochures catalog. Okay, so it has my information, my website, my email. Also, I had this for my return thing, but I honestly, I prefer the labels. This is Franco's, it has my address. It doesn't stamp well. I paid like 30 bucks for that one. I paid 19 something for this, but that's when I first joined like five years ago. I don't even know if Vistaprint offers this anymore, but you could get them from everywhere, from Amazon, from eBay, from everywhere. This one I paid 30 something and I'm not happy with the way it prints. So I don't really use it. Okay, and then lastly, my favorite one that I really do use on everyone, on everything, and I got it from Etsy. Well, it's kind of blurry right now. It says, thank you for your support, my small, thank you for supporting my small business. Follow and tag us in your photos. Then it has my Facebook information tag and it has my Instagram tag. Okay, so that's what I put everywhere because that's where I am most of the time. Staples Print Center has instant stamps for $19.99. Perfect, there you go. Um, and then you can just put whatever information you want on there, guys. But I like stamps. They're fast. They're quick. They're just a little bit more up front. That's it. Okay. So let me, do you guys have any other questions? Do you guys want me to show you again real quick? What if you want to use one of these? Oh, somebody just entered. <clears throat> what if you want to use one of these, right? Let me show you how it's already set up. Pick an easy one. These are kind of like a lot. These are labels for like pro products as well. Let's just use this one. Okay. So you would come on here. They already have it set up for you. Okay, they have all a bunch of different labels if you're gonna label your kids stuff or whatever. But say you just wanna use that rainbow because you really like that rainbow and you wanna put that on your return address, right? So you're gonna do Brianna Franco, don't panic. I know that's probably freaking you guys out right now. Don't panic. You just go up here, shrink the size. <laughs> okay, and then you wanna do your address. Oh, whatever. Okay, don't freak out. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You would just shrink it again and it puts it for you. Okay, then that line means it's centered. You see those dot, 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 so that's all the way across, it's centered. Okay, so there's your, there's your shipping, there's your mailing label, whatever. Okay. Do you guys have any questions with what I've showed you, how to use stuff, have any questions on how to maneuver things, where to buy? Was this helpful at all? Did you guys learn anything? Let me know. You guys can unmute. Works better. Hello? <laughs> Do you guys have any questions or all is well? I could um, even share some templates. If you guys want this template, like stick your nose in my biz, I could share them on, you just use my link on Canva and you just change it to make it yours. The Avery part was very helpful. Great, I'm glad. Do you guys have any other questions on Avery? Did I spend enough time there? Um, you on on Avery, you would find your um, projects under. So if you go to your homepage, I'm gonna leave this. Anything that you do is gonna be under your little person. So here's your little person here. Once you create your profile, okay, and then it's gonna. Oh, it wants me to sign in again. Okay, so then it's gonna be here projects. Okay, so you would click that and it's gonna bring up anything that you created. So here's all my files that I work on. So I have like 12 pages. Okay, you can also, if you're a team leader, you can make your own postcards. Like for example, um, this one I made a couple months ago 
and I could print them on postcards using this format. I could print on like four to a sheet. Avery's amazing, you guys. If you haven't dug into Avery, you need to. What was the code for the transparent label? It is... I have all these here. It is 22825. Avery 22825. Okay, so yes, create on Canva, upload in Avery. I encourage you guys to go and look what they have because you could do postcards, you can do um, certificates if you have, like for your teamies, you can do, um, let me show you. Name tags, name badges, file folders, address labels, cards, all kinds of stuff, guys. So all you got to do, create something simple on uh, or, or cute and creative on Canva and then upload it to Avery, print it at home or have them print it for you. If there are no other questions, we can go ahead and wrap this up and I hope it was helpful. I hope you guys, I can't wait to see if you guys make new um Labels, I want to see them. Miguel, I know you're going to jump right in. I know you're going to dig in. So I want to see your labels when you're done creating them. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. I'm going to go ahead and end this training. And I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Get creative. Go on Canva. Use all the stuff. You don't have to pay. Use the free version. And then get creative. Make sure your Q. Yay, Christina. Make sure your QR code is on everything possible. Okay, guys, because that's an easy way. Some people don't want to text you. They don't want to call you. They just want to order. Okay, so make it simple. Make it easy for them. Have a great night, guys. I love you. We'll talk soon. Bye.